Hi, welcome to another lab note session. In this session, we are going to discuss virtual port channel. A virtual port channel allows links that are physically connected to two different Cisco Nexus devices to appear as a single port channel to a third device. The third device can be a switch, server, or any other networking device that supports link aggregation technology. Few VPC terminologies. First, VPC domain, a pair of VPC switches in a VPC system. VPC peer, a VPC switch from the pair. VPC member port, a port from a VPC group which will be configured. VPC peer link, this is very important term. Link used to synchronize state between VPC peer devices. VPC peer keep allow link, link used to monitor liveness of peer device. CFR Cisco Fabric Service Protocol used for state synchronization and configuration validation between peers. Often device, a device which is on a VPC VLAN but only connected to one peer switch. Often port, an interface which connected to an often device. Order of implementation which is very important during VPC implementation. Define first we need to define domain then establish peer keep alive connectivity which is a layer 3 interface connectivity then create a peer link which should be trunk link then we need to create port channel then we'll assign VPC. So there are a few things we need to consider during VPC domain implementation we need to use a unique ID and uh, why because VPC domain ID used to assign unique VPC system MAC address uh, which helps to identify the third device during VPC formation. In, so VPC system MAC identifies the logical switch in the network topology. So domain of operation we can uh, while implementing this we can say it's a combination of independent control plane and synchronized layer to state why because uh, once we implement vpc we have independent control plane for peers and but uh, we have synchronized layer to state vpc roles VP vpc primary switch selection is based on a rule priority lower priority wins if ties lower system mac wins role is non preemptive vpc role defines which of the two vpc peer process vpd use so this is very important uh, when we consider the vpc role the operational role is uh, matters the configured role it may change peer link must be a trunk link and uh, at least we need to connect uh, Tangi interface. Peer link must be a point to point link. These are the main important points which we need to con consider during the implementation. So let's begin to the configuration. So this is our topology with uh, three 9K Nexus switches. Uh, we aim to configure VPC between these devices. Uh, the top devices will be uh, from left side which is switch 1 and right side one is switch 2 so these are the VPC peers uh, and uh, we'll uh, establish VPC uh, channel uh, between these members to the downstream device so we'll be using the management interface as a keep alive link and um, E1 slash 1 and 2 between peer VPC peers will make it as a peer link. So let's begin. Let's go to switch 1. First, we need to enable feature VPC and uh, LACP.
will take cancel of two switches feature PPC and uh, feature LSCP on peer switch so we have enable the feature now we need to uh, assign IP address for our keep alive link so which is management interface interface management 0 I'm going to use uh, 192.168.1.1 slash 24 for switch 1 and we'll use 192.168.1.2 slash 24 for switch 2 now we need to create domain VPC domain so VPC domain 1 now we need to configure the keep live link so the command is peer keep alive destination and which is the destination address 192.168.1.2 is my peer and I'm sourcing from 192.168.1.1 and it is a VF management so without that it will not reach because management it, it has a management VRF configured so let's create a domain VPC domain 1 and uh, we need to mention the same peer keep alive and uh, we are telling the destination is 192.168.1.1 which is my peer and I'm sourcing from 192.168.1.2 and uh, which is under VRF management so either we can use the same default management VRF or we can uh, create a new VRF and assign the interface which we prefer so it's not it doesn't mandatory that we need to use management interface for the peer link can use any other device but convenient it's based on our decision actually so we have keep alive link ready now uh, let's make the peer link so for that we I prefer 1 slash 1 and 2 we'll use channel group 1 mode active interface port channel 1 it must be a trunk port trunk let's make interface here interface ethernet 1 slash 1 to 2 channel group 1 mode active switch port mode trunk okay let's go to port channel 1 switch port mode trunk now we need to uh, tell that it's a peer link so it's a, a VPC we have option saying peer link so let's enable that so uh, before that I would like to show you something show VPC it says peer link is down but uh, peer is alive so which means the reachability is there but peer link is down since we have not enabled peer link so here also we need to say vpc peer link so now let's see the difference what is going to happen in the show output
show interface boot channel one which is strong okay which is p i think show ppc yeah now peer adjust and see formed okay so now we have peer link ready the next step it will be uh, creating downstream port channel for vpc so our downstream link is ethernet 1 slash 3 so interface ethernet 1 slash 3 channel group i am saying 100 mode active so from this search we enabled like a primary uh, it's a uh, yeah it is primary so from primary switch we enabled now let's go to uh, enable the port channel then we'll assign ppc let's create a port channel interface ethernet one slash three channel group hundred mode active so now we have port channel configured port channel hundred will create a trunk link so switch port mode should be trunk here also interface port channel hundred switch port mode trunk so now we need to uh, call create a vpc like uh, uh, we can say it's a vpc id 100 we need to tell this on both peers so it's a vpc 100 and uh, now if we see show vpc we can find uh, details but it's showing down so which means the other side we need to configure let's go to the downstream one so here config t interface ethernet 1 slash 1 to 2 channel group 100 mode active oh. I need to enable LSCP okay so let's go to the interface then channel group active yeah show port channel summary you can see yeah it is bundled actually so p stands for up in port channel so let's check on vpc domain switches show vpc so we can see it's up yes the status is up and uh, I'm in switch one it says it's primary and uh, show VPC Oops, it's switch three show VPC it says it's up and uh, we can use show vpc role command also so here it says it's secondary it says this is my vpc system mac and uh, this is the priority so these are the information uh, we need to know while configuring 
uh, VPC and uh, moreover the order of implementation is very important otherwise it may not come up but if we troubleshoot we can bring up and uh, other important thing we need to know uh, the failure scenarios so uh, these are the main things and uh, I hope uh, you have understood the implementation and uh, I would like to thank you for watching